Now, in this video, we will going to take up uh, the one more concept on projections of lines, the introduction part, where the line is inclined to HP and parallel to PP. So, if you look from the three-dimensional sketch, wherein you can see the line is inclined to HP in space, which is written by capital A and capital B. What is the inclination made by that line with respect to HP? The inclination made by that line with respect to HP is theta. How do I know that the line is inclined to HP? If I want to see the line to be inclined to HP, from where should I look? I should look from the front view. If you look from the front view, the image will going to fall on the vertical plane, which is represented by A dash and B dash. The inclination made by that line with respect to the XY or with respect to HP is theta. So, this is theta is the true inclination with respect to HP. We will see. If I say that is the true inclination with respect to HP, first we should find out whether A dash B dash is in true length or not. Now, what he says the line is inclined to HP. If you look from the front view, you can see the distance above HP here. So, the distance with respect to HP, the one end point of the line capital A is above HP by some distance. Similarly, the other end point of B is not at the same distance as it is with respect to A, but it is more than with respect to A. Therefore, the line is inclined to HP. And when you look from the front view, since the front view is perpendicular to the uh, vertical plane, therefore, the image will going to fall on the vertical plane. Similarly, when you look from the top view, the two endpoints of the line, capital A and capital B, are at equidistance from the vertical plane. You can see that distance. It is equidistance from the vertical plane. When you look from the top view, since the top view is perpendicular to the horizontal plane, therefore, the image will going to fall on the horizontal. You can see the distance uh, small a and small b are at equidistance from the vertical plane. Now the line is parallel to VP. <coughs> now, in other words, if the line is parallel to VP, then I have to look from the top view. If the line is inclined to HP, then I should look from the front view. If you look from the front view, the image will go to fall on the vertical plane. If you look from the top view, the image will go to fall on the horizontal plane. And when you look from the front view, I cannot see the image in the horizontal plane because both the, uh, both the horizontal plane and viewing directions are, in the, are aligned, that is, they are parallel. Similarly, if the image has to be seen in the top view, then I, I mean horizontal plane, then I should look from the top view. While looking from the top view, I cannot see the image which is there on the vertical plane because both vertical plane and top view are aligned to each other. <coughs> now, once you do that, so this is where we can represent the line which is inclined to HP and the line is parallel to VP. So now this is actually in three dimension. Now I want to rotate this and make it two dimension. You can see the vertical plane is fixed, therefore the image or the line is inclined to HP. You can see where in vertical plane. The inclination made by this will go to be theta. The line is parallel to VP. Where you can see the line is parallel to VP. If the line has to be parallel to VP, I have to look in the horizontal plane. Where is the horizontal plane? The horizontal plane is below vertical plane. If you see from the top view, the two endpoints of the line, small a and small b, are at equal distance from the vertical plane, that is from VP. So now the line is parallel to VP. So that means both the points a and b are at in front of VP by same distance. In other words, now I want to find 
which view has got the true length. In the virgin, when the line was parallel to both HP and VP, the true length is seen in both HP and VP. Now in this case, since the line is inclined to HP and now the line is parallel to VP. That means a line is inclined to one plane and it is parallel to the other plane. If the line is parallel to the one plane, in that plane you can see the true length. What does that mean? If the line is parallel to VP, then I can see the true length in VP. The, the line which is parallel to one of the planes, the, plane, uh, the line which is parallel to the one plane, in the same plane I can see the true length. That is what it means. In the means what? In general. If the line is parallel to VP, I can see the true length in VP. Means what? This is the line which is in true length. Why? Because that line is parallel to VP. Where I should look for the line parallel to VP? Since the line is parallel to VP, the image will going to fall on the horizontal plane. In other words, if the line is with respect to VP, you have to see it in HP. If the line is with respect to HP, then you can see it in VP. Now the line is parallel to VP, so the true length in VP. You can see this line is in true length in VP. So that is the reason why you have capital A and capital B. So if this line has to be in true length, so then where should I look? It should be parallel to VP. Where is, uh, where is parallel to VP? That image, the line which is parallel to VP means what? The image will go to be seen in the HP. Because VP, then it should be on HP. So, you have to look in the top view. So, if you look from the top view, if the two endpoints of the line is parallel to XY, that is the intersection of VP and HP. So, in this case, the line A, small a and small b is parallel to XY line in the top view. If the line is parallel to XY line in the top view, its corresponding front view, what does it mean? The corresponding front view means what? The top view is AB. The corresponding front view is A dash and B dash. So that line is in true length. That is why you have capital A and capital B. Then the line is inclined to HP. Since the line is inclined to HP, you cannot find the true length in HP. Where is HP? Here. It is not in true length. Because the line is inclined to HP. Since it is inclined to HP, means what? You have to see in VP. In other words, in the front view, if the line is not parallel, if the front view line is not parallel, that means A dash B dash is not parallel to XY. Since the line is not parallel to XY, therefore, in the top view, that line will not be in true length. So, this will going to become the upper end. The inclination made by the true length line, which is that A dash B dash, the inclination made by the true length line with respect to HP is theta. That is true inclination, which is the notation which is used for the true inclination line with respect to HP. Okay. So, this is how you will be able to analyze that. Now, if you see that in your uh, uh, the final orthographic view. So you can see the line is inclined to HP, where I can see it is in VP. If you want to say the line is, uh, this is in true length, then in the top view I should look. In the top view, this line is in parallel to XY, therefore you are finding the true length in HP. That is the reason why you have capital A and capital B in bracket. But, if you see in the top view, the two line is parallel to XY, therefore Front view is in true length. Is the front view is the front view? Now, is the top view line is in true length? No. Why the top view line is not in true length? Because the front view line is inclined. Since the front view line is inclined, therefore the top view line is not in true length. So this you should not have capital A and capital B here. That will not be there because this is the upper end length. So all other things will going to remain the same. Where theta is the true inclination with respect to HP. Now, the next case is line perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. How to, how to do that? 
So you can see the vertical plane and the horizontal plane. Now when you look from the front view, I can see this vertical plane, that is the vertical line, capital A and capital B. Since it is the front view, the image will go to fall on the vertical plane, you can see capital, sorry, A dash and B dash. So now the line is perpendicular to HP because it is 90 degrees to HP. If you look from the top view, the top view, the two length of the uh, two endpoints of the line capital B and capital A are at equidistant from the vertical plane. So the line is parallel to VP. And here, this capital A and capital B is 90 degrees to HP, therefore it is perpendicular to HP. So what happens now, you will see. If you look from the top view, both B and A are coinciding with each other. Therefore, you have B and A. Since it is coinciding, you are going to get a point. The distance from the vertical plane, that is this distance is seen in the horizontal plane and this distance is seen in the vertical plane. Now, if you look from the top view, I can see both the endpoints of capital A and capital B are at equidistant from the vertical plane. Therefore, line is parallel to VP. Since the line is parallel to VP, what happens? I will see the true length in VP. So that is capital A and capital B. And when you look from the top view, B is near to the observer, so B is visible, and A is away from the observer, therefore A is in bracket. Okay? And the, when you look from the top view, the distance in front of VP is seen here, so that is the why you have seen the in front of VP here. And this distance is above HP, that distance is seen in the vertical plane. Now, in other words, if you want to see whether the front view line is in true length, correspondingly in the top view, that line should be parallel. You can see that in the top view, both B and A are at equal distance from the vertical plane. The line is parallel to VP. Therefore, since the line is parallel to VP, so you are finding the true length in VP. Therefore, you have capital A and capital B. Since the line is perpendicular to HP, so when you look from the top view, you will go to get a point. So that is the reason why you have seen that it has a point where both B and A are coinciding to each other. Since both B and A are coinciding, so which is visible and which is not visible, you need to represent. So when you see which is the image now, this one is on the horizontal plane, it is the top view. That means when you look from the top view, the image will going to fall here. Therefore, when you look from the top view, B is near to the observer, it is visible, and A is away from the observer. Therefore, it is in bracket. Now, when, you, when the HP is being rotated, obviously the image is also being rotated. So, here both B and A are at equal distance from the vertical plane. Therefore, the line is parallel to VP. So, you are getting the uh, capital A and capital B, which is the true length. So, if you look from the top view, that is from here, if you look from the top view, B dash is near to the observer, therefore B is visible, and A dash is away from the observer, so A becomes invisible. So this is how you will be able to analyze the drawing. So always you remember, whenever the line is perpendicular to HP, then in HP you must get a point. You can must get a point. Okay? And since the line is perpendicular to HP, so in VP you get a vertical line. That is how you will be able to analyze both line inclined to HP and parallel to VP and line perpendicular to HP and parallel. So this is how you will be able to understand the concept of the line inclined to HP and parallel to VP and the line perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. Thank you.